Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson 7 in my series of lessons on string bends. So today we're going to look at what's called a choke bend or a cutoff bend. So I'm going to take my third finger, put it on the 7th fret of the G string and I add my 2nd and 1st fingers on the previous two frets as well. And I'm going to do a tone bend, so I'm hitting the D, D note. I'm going to bend it up so it sounds like the E note, two frets above, or a tone above, or a whole step above. And I'm going to bend it up. But this time, when I get to the top, I'm going to use my pick to stop the note straight away, like this. Do it again. That was a noisy one. Okay, so as I bend it up, and rather than letting it ring, which is yeah, a nice sound, but this is just my trying to do something different, I'm bending it up, and then as soon as it gets the pitch, I'm touching it with my right hand. I'm putting the pick back on the string. Okay, and that's quite useful in a kind of bluesy context. Okay, so you can hear it's got some nice effect there. If I do it without the, the, the choke. With the choke. Okay, so it's, you know, it makes a nice difference. It's just something else to do. You might find you, you know, you tend to play the same, same kind of licks all the time. So you can play the same lick, stick a choke in, and it sounds like a different lick. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this free video. There is some tab for this lesson on my website. And please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Uh, there's some links to all of that stuff in the description of this video.